Hi everyone, it's Andrew Murchie here from Enhanced Dimensions and I'd like to thank you for taking time out to watch this short tutorial on using our uh, Rock Candy Singles uh, templates. Uh, what's really great about these is because they're an entire um, After Effects template, they're completely editable so you can edit absolutely anything within them. You can add and remove elements, you can change the colors, you could change pretty much everything. These are all built around our ED3D um, virtual stereoscopic rig which means again that even the 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 control of the 3D is all built into this file, so you get a really, really flexible, um, flexible system here. Plus, um, once you've actually used the template, you have the 3D rig that you can mess around with and put your own content in. So, without any further ado, let's have a little look at uh, how this all comes together. Um, I'm not going to cover all the details of the stereoscopic rig. If you'd like to know more about that, do check out the ED3D virtual um, rig pages and tutorials um, on our website where you'll find uh, a, a lot more detail. First, let's have a little look how this works. Uh, the majority of our editing, apart from the stereoscopic changes, will be done in the master scene. The master scene is effectively just a standard um, After Effects 3D comp um, where you can edit absolutely everything just as you would normally. Um, as you can see, the layers here are from our top view. The layers are simply laid out in 3D space. So anything obviously further in the background is further in the background in 3D. Let's switch over to our single view here and check out our active camera. And within our active camera, let's do some. Uh, let's make some changes. Okay, first off, we'll change the text, which is obviously a basic prerequisite so let's put in my new text as an example there we go my new text changed there you go very simple straightforward editing um, perhaps you'd like to change the colors of things so the various elements have a full setting and if you'd like to change the color maybe you want to make everything um, bright glorious pink um, off you go just by changing the full settings. Again, the text, you can change it with your text colors as you normally would. Um, let's say we wanted to do something like make the slightly rough, take take off the sort of rush, rough grunginess, gris, uh, rough grunginess of this. Um, well, on the starburst as an example, we've got rough and edges, so we can switch that off. That'll tidy up that, make it a little bit neater. And let's switch off the grunge texture. So there we go, there's something nice and smooth. Maybe you'd even want to get rid of the guitarists. So there you go, there you've got a, definitely a much cleaner looking um, animation, which should do the trick. Okay, i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to switch that back on for the time being, because I'm going to now jump into the stereoscopic part just to show you the available options there. So here we are in the stereoscopic preview window and as you can see I've selected the stereo controls and this gives us access to the camera divergence and the camera rotation. As I mentioned previously, if you want to find out more about these specifically, do take a look at uh, the tutorials uh, on the website for the ED3D virtual rig. So let's just have a look here. Um, Camera divergence, this is the spacing between the cameras. Let's take that up to around about 50. That gives us quite a good strong 3D effect. And then the camera rotation, effectively this is what we're going to use to converge the cameras on a specific point. So I'm going to converge them so that we make the microphones roughly converge. There we go. Uh, my PC uh, is going a bit slowly because of the recording, but normally you would actually be able to see the images sliding. So what we've created here is now we've got um, the microphones are pretty much on the screen level. Everything in front of them uh, are in front and everything behind them is behind. But again, as you've got a completely editable um, After Effects file, you can adjust not only your controls here, but you can adjust things in your master screen if you really want to push things further and closer to the camera. Um, then from here, effectively, the last kind of things you're likely to want to do is probably render out. So from here, you can render out the uh, a YouTube render, 
which is side by side, tridef render, which is above below. You could render out this, which is your anaglyph um, red cyan view, or you could uh, render out a left or right uh, individual video stream. So there you go. Thanks for your time today. Um, I hope this has been of interest to you, and we'd really appreciate if you could pop on over to www.enhanced-dimensions.com and come and take a look at this and the various other 3D products and 3D um, freebies um, that we have on the site. So thanks again for your time. This has been Andrew Murchie for Enhanced Dimensions. Bye now.